Welcome back to Future Nebraska. Here on the program on Mondays, we like to put the Alliance for the Future of Agriculture in the spotlight. The group is also known as AFAN. Well, AFAN helped us connect today with a person that is very interested in making sure there's a bright future for young people in agriculture. Joining us now is Dr. Larry Berger. He's the Animal Science Department Head at the University of Nebraska. Thanks for being here today. My pleasure. You know, Dr. Berger, are there opportunities available for the next generation when it comes to being involved in agriculture? Certainly. Uh, you know, the average age of the farmer in Nebraska is in his late 50s, and many of those are going to be ret retiring or looking to slow down in the next five to ten years. And so uh, we have people who contact the university and say, I'm looking for a young person who's really interested in coming out, helping me during this transition uh, as I change my intensity of working on the farm. Now, what are some of the opportunities uh, for kids to, to get back on the farm? Well, it, it's varied, and uh, a lot of it centers around the existing farm production practices and how they can bring something that will add value. For example, if it's strictly a row crop corn and soybean farm, uh, they may be able to use the corn residue, the corn stalks, as a cow feed, and so they might add a cow herd to their enterprise as a way of helping to supplement the total uh, production system. Uh, if they're uh, interested in pork production, they may add a swine finishing unit to that farm, take advantage of the swine manure that can be used as a real a cheap source of fertilizer and so they not only add the uh, experience and technical expertise to raise old livestock but they also add a new dimension to what that overall farming enterprise can uh, involve. Why is it so important that we do get those younger generations involved in agriculture? Well, it's critical because they are our future in a place like Nebraska where agriculture is a dominant part of our economy. We need to constantly be replenishing the uh, personnel that are out there raising uh, livestock, raising crops, uh, helping us uh, be the very foundation of the animal and crop enterprise in Nebraska. And so uh, as people uh, want to retire as they get older, uh, many times uh, the opportunity is there. It's just matching the right young person with the skill sets to complement the existing farm production program. Are you seeing more kids getting interested in the farm again? Kind I of am, training? certainly. Uh, I teach a senior seminar class and this year about 25 percent of the students in my class are going to go back to a ranch or farm. Uh, that's grown over the last seven, eight years. Uh, part of it's been that the economics of production agriculture has improved in the last five years, and I think it will be continue that way in the future. Uh, so we do see not only the interest, but the economic opportunity for young people to get back into production agriculture. And, so, oh, oh, go oh, ahead. No, no, Brad. I was just going to say, so if there are some kids out there that are interested in this, uh, what do they do? How do they get involved? Well, uh, first off, get a skill set that's really helpful and adds new uh, capacity to the farm. And then uh, through various organizations, AFAN is one, uh, make yourself available, uh, do internships, you know, volunteer, help with uh, individual farmers in their community that may be looking for someone, uh, establish credibility, establish yourself as a person who's willing to work hard, who has knowledge, who has ability that can complement the existing skill sets. That will make you attractive. If a student's interested, it's not just physically working on the farm itself, but there are other broader opportunities as well. Well, certainly all the different industries that service production agriculture uh, are looking for bright young people who can continue to add a value to what products they sell to the farmer. And so uh, it's not just production, but it's all the related industries where we need really bright young minds to replenish those who are starting to move on to other things. All right. Well, thank you very much for being here. We My pleasure. You. All right.